So, we ready to see what happens here with this 360. See if we fix this leak. So we're not getting anything now. Hmm? Got more work to do. Sometimes these processes take a while, you know? All right, let's take another look at this 360. What do you think we got? Meter and lever? It looks like it's pulling fuel. The fuel line, you know, it filled up. So let's pull the spark plug out. See if it's flooded. Spark plug is drenched. Completely drenched. Probably drenched for me up and fuel down. Let's take another look at this metering lever while we're here. One of the situations you just keep going until you get it. You watch, I took it too far this time. I want you to bet. Well, no, because when I started, if it floods out, it's too far. So, I'm ready to give that another try. Alrighty, let's give it another try. So, ready to give this another try? What is this? Attempt, uh, I think this is, might be attempt six or so. Uh, I don't know. I can't, I lost track. So, here we go. Attempt number, who knows how many. I think we still got problems. What do you think? Still got problems? Yeah, back to the drawing board. So, let's pull the spark plug out. See what she looks like. Let me do something here. I'm going to pull this saw up here, pull the spark plug out of this saw, just to make it easier. Good spark. Let's see what this one does. That one's got even better spark. The one that was in the 360 got great spark. So, I don't think it's spark plug. I'm just thinking, that's plugged. That plug's shorter than the correct champion plug. Let me show you. It goes all the way up in and makes contact. You can see where it was rubbing. This one does not. What do you think? Should we try that? Just change the plug to a different? Alrighty. Phew, it's possible. When I was working on it, I had to plug out. It's possible I got plug switched around. It's completely possible. I don't think that's it. So what do you think is going to happen? First, let me do that again. And this time, I'll turn the switch on. Switch on. It's pointless anyway. There's gas coming out. Gas coming out the muffler.
completely drenched. So, at least I know I'm moving fuel now. Let's give that another try and see what happens. So, how many times is this? 10, maybe? I got tired of going outside. I'm really starting to think we got a spark issue. And it ran one day and now it's not. Really starting to think that. So now I'm gonna step, I'm gonna get some wire and see if I can figure out a way to get a jumper from here to here up to the engine. So I've got this all rigged up. Let's figure out if this thing's got spark. Because if it's got spark, we definitely have a fuel issue. Alrighty. Let's cross our fingers. Alright. This took me 20 minutes to rig up. I just got wires placed and everything. Ready? We got spark. It's actually good and strong. So. 100% convinced it's a fuel issue. There's only one thing left that I completely overlooked. One thing. Let's see if you picked up on this. Because this is the only thing left that I can think of. How many times did I say this fuel stinks? I wonder if I just need to drain the gas and put fresh in. It was fresh gas when I put it in. But it's coming out. Like it's 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 almost making me nauseous. It reeks so bad. Dump it out. Try fresh grass. That's where I'm at. I should just leave the spark plug out. That way I can push the fresh gas through the system easier. This works. I literally just wasted two hours playing with this thing because of bad gas. Really? Let's find out. I'm gonna see if you can see this. Um, I literally, I got the gas dumped out and I'm just pulling on the cord, watch. You see it? I'm just pushing all the bad stuff out. But it sure is moving at a high volume. I might still have that metering lever too high. All right. Are we ready for attempt number 157? <sighs> Let's see what happens. What you want to bet it's flooded right now. I know you can't see it, but I can see a cloud. Every pool, there's a cloud. So, I'm gonna go in and tweak this meter and lever. She's back together, ready to rock and roll. Let's see what happens. I think it's still throwing fuel out the muffler. Let's take the spark plug out again. Yep. Completely drenched.
All right. Let's do it again. I thought I had it that time. Take number 287. Still flooding. Alrighty, so. I think I've had this apart 50 times. Maybe not 50, but it's a lot. And it just kind of dawned on me that I have not been looking at one particular thing. So hopefully I got it. I failed to check the metering lever spring. So I pulled the spring out, just gave it a tiny little nibble of a stretch, put it back together. Will it work? I don't know, but I'm willing to try anything at this point. So let's see what happens. Uh, let's go for this again. All right, this is going to be my last attempt today, <clears throat> whether it starts tonight, starts or not. I've been on this for a couple hours, trying to sort it out. So I'm a little tired. Let's see what happens. My arms are hurting from pulling on the starter so much. The last attempt after the last attempt. All right. All right, so I'm kind of at wit's end here. I thought about it for a little bit and there's only one thing left that I could do. And that was to pull my brand new diaphragm out and put in another brand new diaphragm. If this don't work, I'm done for today. Alrighty. All right. So those of you who have made it this far into the video, you can see in this video, my frustrations. And whenever I get to that point, I find that I, I just, I have to hang it up and come back another day. Uh, I start making mistakes and overlooking things. So the, the, you're seeing my frustrations and I'm not hiding it from you. Uh, this this comes, comes with the territory, I should say. Sometimes they go smooth and sometimes they don't. Now I'm not hiding the difficulties. I'm sharing them with you. I could easily edit this video until that moment that I figure it out and just show you that shot of, you know, great, you know, it's, it's running, it's running perfectly. I could, I could have just edited all this out, but I did not. I'm showing it to you. I want you to see the real side of this. Now, those of you who are saw builders, or mechanics or whatever. Just to give you an idea, I I didn't even show you half of the attempts that I made here. At one point, I started measuring the metering lever in five thousandths increments. I edited all of that out. Just, just because you can imagine how long the video would be. So whenever you seen me making the saying that I made you know, attempt number two hundred and some, I, I did. I, this four or five hours I spent doing, worked on this, making all of those adjustments, 
And I did that because I was planning on originally putting it in a video, but then I decided not to just because of how long it would have been. I would like you to give me some comments on some ideas on areas that I can look at. I will say the carburetor is flowing too much fuel at all times. It just keeps flooding out. But I would like you to throw some comments in because I do overlook things. I do make mistakes. And it's nice to have you know, another set of eyes on it or another opinion. And I don't know everything. And so it's it's nice to see or to have somebody else's input as well. It, is a, it can be rather difficult at times to sort out our problems. So, so until next time, thanks for watching and making it this far. And although we do get frustrated, it doesn't mean give up. It just means put it down. Come back another day with a clear head. It could be another day, a couple of hours. It's not uncommon for me to wait a week or two. It's not. Sometimes I wait a month. But just don't give up. Just keep trying. Alrighty. Have a good day, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.